81 members of Ohio Task Force One are back home after spending two weeks as part of the rescue and recovery efforts. Local 12's David Winter was in Vandalia when the convoy rolled back into its home base. He spoke with some members about their time in Florida. Hi, David. Hi, Adam. It was such a heartwarming welcome here at Ohio Task One headquarters just a short while ago. You can see that 47 passenger bus that carried the men and women the 1200 miles down to Surfside, Florida and the rest of the convoy. Now it is time for cleaning up and unloading. But a couple of hours ago, it was definitely time for hugs and kisses. Husbands and wives, children, of course, and mothers and fathers, brothers, sisters, everyone came out to meet these 81 men and women, welcoming them home from Surfside. They spent 15 days in their search and recovery mission, digging through the rubble of that collapsed condo building in temperatures that reached a heat index of 104 degrees. It was hard on the team and their families, but the hardest part may still be ahead. Uh, figure out how to process all this stuff that we haven't processed yet and uh, continue to work through it. What do you, what do you need to process? Uh, just everything that we saw that I wouldn't want to explain to anyone. But everything that we saw and did, uh, horrific is the only word I can come up with. Um, and so we have a lot to work through. The first week down there was tough. It was really hard. And for many people who had never seen that kind of stuff, um, it was it, a lot of my job was to just keep them focused and uh, doing what they knew how to do. Not knowing the conditions, not knowing when he would come back, not knowing what he would see and find, and you know the lasting effects of it. Quite honestly, you're going to help him with that. Oh yes, oh yes. Well, the team traveled 1,200 miles each way: three semi trucks, three box trucks, three passenger vans, and of course that 47 passenger bus in the convoy. Incidentally, eight members of Ohio Task Force One that went down to Surfside. They actually had gone to the 9-11 scene back in 2001, and they said that it was eerily similar, the scene down in Florida, as it was the scene in New York. And uh, Ohio Task Force One, by the way, they were responsible for finding 14 remains of the people who died down in Surfside. Adam? David, can't imagine. Thank you so much. Now, Governor DeWine and his wife, Fran, were both at the homecoming today. The governor told the team that Ohio is proud of them.